So it's pretty much safe to say that my favorite world in The Sims 4 is Glimmerbrook. I love a bit of magic and that's why I decided to do a magical build today. So if you don't know, I'm doing a build save, well a world save in The Sims 4 where basically I've torn down every single house, evicted every single household and I'm going to be rebuilding the entire game up from scratch. Firstly I started off with, um, um, I forgot what it's called, the vanilla American green world. Ah, uh, Willow Creek, that's it. Firstly, I started off with Willow Creek, but then I got a little bit bored of it because it was a bit too vanilla and boring for me. So I decided to move on to Glimmerbrook just because it's a little bit more kooky and out there and fun. So now, even though from the outside, this house does look really big, it's actually really small on the inside. I say it's really small. It's not really small, but it's not a mansion or anything. And I think the reason why is because I just put so many roofs. It looks like really, really big. Like I went crazy with the roofs this time and it makes it look so big for it. From the inside, it's not that big. So I could only actually fit two bedrooms, one master bedroom or one single bedroom but actually I kind of feel like it makes sense anyway because in real life if you actually look at mansions on these housing websites they have a really small number of bedrooms like it'll be like a 30 million dollar mansion but it'll only have like five bedrooms but it'll have like 20 bathrooms it doesn't make any sense so I feel like you know it is kind of realistic to have a mansion with actually not that many bedrooms the actual style of this house I kind of wanted to make it old-fashioned I actually only recently just downloaded the get together pack now I know that pack has been out for years it's one of the oldest packs I think it's the second expansion pack for The Sims 4, but I only just downloaded it now and tell you now, I absolutely love this pack. It has the best build by Moe's, I think of any Sims pack we've had in any Sims game, one, two, three, and four. It's amazing. I love using all of these wooden foundation um, wall types and things. They look so beautiful and I think it looks so cool, especially in Glimbrook. So I'm really, really happy with it. For this video today, I actually only focused on the outside of the property because it took me such a long time. I did also do the interior, but I didn't actually record it. So right at the end of this video, I will show you guys, just give you a tour. I love doing magical things because there are no rules. You know, if you're doing like a stereotypical Little Simsy Blue Suburban, there's only so far you can really go with it. You have to follow this basic, you know, structure. Whereas with a magical build like this in a magical world, there's not really any structure. You can get away with doing anything. And that's why I love it so much. So I use a random mishmash of a lot of different styles and things here, but I think it came together quite well. I'm really happy with the end result. It's one of my favorite builds I've ever built. And it is on the gallery. My gallery idea is satch on sims but with no spaces in between so I also experimented a lot with some move objects on cheats here so if you are downloading it please turn on the move objects on cheat I haven't actually tested the house to see if it works you guys can test it and let me know and if it doesn't work I can change it on the gallery but it does look very beautiful that's so narcissistic it maybe potentially looks beautiful perhaps in my opinion but anyway normally I don't really focus on the outside in the build itself my favorite thing is interior design in the sims 4 I I really am not very good at, you know, designing a build itself. I think it's one of the most difficult things to do in the game. So I really, really wanted to just try focus on doing that here. And honestly, I'm really proud. If you are looking for tips, I'm not professional, but from my experience, one thing that really helped me improve my building is getting good at doing roofs. If you can nail down doing like crazy variety of different roof types, it really, really helps to add just some extra layer onto your build and makes it so good. So as this is a magical build in a magical town, I wanted to do something magical in it. So I decided to give them a little shed which is going to have a cauldron in it. Now this is basically kind of like their magical, I don't know, um, like magic shed. <laughs> Why am I being so awkward? It's a magic shed. Basically, I just wanted to do a separate space to have all of the magical stuff outside of the house. In addition to that, I did also make a little farm on the front of the lot. So if you did want to have a little farm where you can grow magical ingredients for your potions, you can do that here. This is basically like a spellcaster's paradise and I'm living for it. I love it so much. I wish I could live in this house in real life, actually. Honestly, the Realm of Magic World Glimmerbrook is my favorite world. I think it looks so cool. It's the first like really big foresty world that we actually got. And can I just say for a game pack, we actually got a lot of stuff in this world. Yes, granted the world only has like four or five lots, but we also got an additional special realm of magic world with it. It was a lot for, you know, just a little game pack and I really love the world so much. I build in it all the time. I live in it all the time. However, unfortunately the EA builds that came with Glimmerbrook were absolutely shocking. Like they are probably the ugliest worlds EA have ever bestowed upon us. I cannot believe they released it like that. I'm so glad with, with the last couple of packs, they've actually 
left it up to real Sims players to design the lot. So if you don't know, in the Snowy Escape Pack, they actually got some real Sims YouTubers who were well known for doing good builds to actually design the builds for that pack. Because EA is so bad at building in their own game, they actually got the fans to do it for them to release it with the pack, which I think is really cool. And in addition to the newest release pack, which is the Paranormal Stuff Pack right now, that also contains a build that was designed by another Sims player. And you know, when it's designed by a Sims player, you know it was done out of passion. When EA do it, you know, they're doing it because it's their job for money. Whereas when an actual Sims fan does it, they're doing it out of love, which is why they always end up looking so much better. And I really hope it's a trend that they go forward with in the future as well. I just love it so much. Anyway, this is it for the build. As you can see, it's a relatively small place, seeming that it's such a large lot. However, I wanted to keep it very au naturel and open. If we go in now, I'm going to show you guys the inside of the lot because I didn't actually design that in this video. All right, guys, this is a lot in question. So as you can see, I did change it a little bit from when I did the speed build. However, it's mostly the same. So if we go inside here, let's do a little house tour. Da 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 da. Slowly making our way in. Right, so first we have this awkwardly large hallway with just like a little test table in it. Then we move into our living room. Now this was my favorite room of the house. I honestly love it so much. I hate to blow my own trumpet, but this does look very beautiful. And I would love to live in a house like this in real life. As you can see, I made the table a little bit wonky. I kind of imagine the people who live in this house are a little bit messy. And I love the way it looks. I love all of the clutter. It's cluttered, but in a way that's not too messy. But here's the bathroom. It's, uh, it's, it's nothing special really. It's just a bathroom. This is a study. Again, I just wanted to do something that was a little bit old fashioned and stuff. And then the kitchen. Now the kitchen was the most difficult thing for me to do. It literally took me so long to design a lot of these elements. I decided to go with quite a, you know, a very reddish brown theme. Originally I wanted to go for like a white theme using the exact same furniture, but it just looked a bit too modern for the build. So I decided to go with all of this brown stuff as well. And I gave them a nice little bar area to here, which I'm absolutely in love with. I think it looks perfect. If we just go up through the upstairs hallway here, oh, and by the way, I put radiators in every single room. And can I just say one of my favorite objects in The Sims 4 is a radiator that came with the vampires pack. In the UK, we have radiators in every single room. So when this first came out, I was like, yes, finally of a bit of immersion. So anyway, here's the first bedroom. So I wanted to give it like an orangey blue theme. I use a couple of Get Famous stuff here. I wanted it to be quite luxurious. I really like this room. It's kind of small, so it's difficult to put stuff in, but I like it nevertheless. And then coming off the room, we also got an ensuite bathroom with a little wardrobe here. Again, using a lot of the magic stuff. And then we have a nice spare bedroom here, which is a little bit small, some cobwebs because it's old and dirty, but it's a relatively small, simple room. And now if we have a look into the outhouse, so I kind of wanted to use this room as like a workspace slash magic space. So I got some bookshelves and some random counters and things like that in here. Then I also got this magical space. I really hate how the roof is clipping. That's so annoying. Anyway, I, I put a little rocking chair in there. I thought it looked quite cute. You can't see it in this mode, unfortunately, but if I come out of here, you can see that it's got a glass roof. So I imagine, you know, when it comes to moonlight time, you know, the moon is out and they're able to do all this, you know, magical stuff in here. I don't know. Anyway, and I wanted to put a little farming area to so here we have, um, oh, what's his name? Patchy the straw man, that's it. I put Patchy here so you can have a little farm if you wanted to have a farm to grow some crops. But other than that, that was it for this build. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this build. If you liked it, please make sure to take a look on the gallery. Other than that, thank you so much. See you next time.